And what I find most exciting about this week's announcement of the PSVR 2 is the entire prospect of... Touch. <laughs> It's a new year, and one of the methods that I use to cope with signifiers like this of the often depressing passage of time is to just force myself to look forward at some things that are coming in the year ahead. And that's what we're doing with this week's episode. We have some questions that will be conclusively answered within the next 12 months. That's exciting, right? These are 2022's delicious mysteries. Mystery 1. Is there anything interesting about Starfield? I've looked through all the clues and I can't find anything interesting. Despite this, many people seem to be looking forward to this game. I mean, look at the screenshots on Steam with me. This one showcases how similar the space sandwich is to one of our Earth sandwiches from current day. Why are you showing that? Yeah, it's from the trailer. Yeah, I know. That's a screenshot from the trailer. They're just using that to advertise this game. Perhaps there is one unique character somewhere. There's one unique narrative premise or gameplay concept or environment or a gun. There's one unique something that was yet to be revealed. But the nice thing is we'll all find out when this game releases on November 11th, a date which we should all consider as good as written in stone. Get your tattoos now. I picked up Starfield on November 11th, which is 11-11 by the way. Doesn't even matter which country you're in, the order is going to be 11-11, 2-2 at some point, 2-0-2-2 if that still attracts you. Anyway, it's a marketable date, 11-11, right? Sure, every other single game gets delayed, most every other game, especially now during COVID-19 times, but not this one, not this one, no way, no how are they going to miss November 11th. Mark my words, there's no way. Mystery 2, is E3 already dead? This week, the ESA announced that E3 this year will not be an in-person event. They, they cited the recent Omicron surge, but there's reason to believe that they weren't going to have this full convention center event anyway this year. They have not even confirmed that they're doing a digital event like they did last year, this year. That's not even... Look, I don't want to make a Weekend at Bernie's reference. Those are tired. It, that's a tired reference. And I haven't even, I've never even seen Weekend at Bernie's. Not even on a shelf. I don't, I don't, I don't know what that movie is like, but we all know what that movie is about. And unfortunately, it's the right analogy here. It is what E3 is right now. E3 is a corpse wearing sunglasses, being grotesquely puppeteered by sociopathic nephews. Now, I would understand if you would like to just attribute this to COVID-19 doldrums. Nobody's having a live event right now, right? The Grammys, are the Grammys dead too, Kyle? Like, I, under I understand, like, the point that you would be making there. However, I want to introduce another piece of evidence to you. This is something that I discovered last summer with the release of Space Jam A New Legacy. Now, in this film, LeBron James's fictional child wants to go to E3 game design camp. It's... A big plot point. It's very important to the story. So obviously I pause the movie at that point and immediately go apply to go to E3 game design camp. Only to discover there is no E3 game design camp and there never has been an E3 game design camp. They made it up. So then of course I had to go to Summer Game Fest design camp. Mystery 3. In which month will Pokemon Sleep finally resurface? Now I know what you're thinking fellow detectives. Pokemon Sleep is cancelled. It was announced in 2019 with this weird video and barely any details and then never spoken of or seen from again. Just let it go. But let me ask you this. Why would you go out of your way to announce Pokemon Sleep? This weird abstract thing that you should never make. Why would you go out of your way to announce that unless it was ready to go? You think they're going to spend all this money on this commercial, on this promotion without any real concept of how the software works? No, no, nobody would do that and certainly not a billion dollar company. They're not stupid. And also consider this extra thing. I need this software to enthusiastically look forward to achieving rest. Right, right now I have no incentive to fall asleep at a reasonable hour, but maybe you throw in the chance of getting like a shiny chirogonal. Now we're talking, now I'll tuck myself in before midnight. Pokemon Company, 
I know it's ready. Just say the word. I'm ready to download. I'm ready for rest. Mystery four. What companies are left to acquire? So last week, when I was trying to remember all the games that came out in 2021, I went to one of my favorite pages in all of Wikipedia, this year in video games. And while this is like, a, it's a list of video game releases, they also have video game events. And here, I was shocked to see how many acquisitions happened in 2021. Here we go. Nintendo purchased Canadian video game developer Next Level Games. Yo-Yo Games, the developers of Game Maker Software, acquired by Opera. The Carlisle Group completed its acquisition of Jagex. Embracer Group acquired Gearbox Software, Aspire Media, and Easy Brain. Electronic Arts completed its estimated 1.2 billion acquisition of Codemasters. Epic Games acquired Tonic Games Group, including developer Media Tonic. Microsoft's Xbox Game Studios completed its acquisition of Zenimax Media and Take its subsidiary Studios. Take Two Interactive acquired HB Studios. Focus Home Entertainment acquired Stream on Studio. Studio. Electronic Arts completed its estimated 2.1 billion acquisition. Sony Interactive, Interactive Entertainment Blue acquired Housemark. Sony Interactive Entertainment acquired Embracer Software. Group acquired eight additional studios. Focus Home Interactive Studio acquired Ghost Ghost of Games and Slip Sony Game Interactive Networks. Entertainment acquired Fire Sprite. Netflix acquired Night School Studio. Sony Interactive Entertainment acquired Blue Netflix Games. acquired Grasshopper Manufacturing. Crafton acquired Unknown Worlds Entertainment. Devolver Digital went public on the alternate investment market and acquired Dodge Roll, Nereal, and Firefly Studio. Sony Interactive acquired Roll 7. Epic Games acquired Harmonix. Sony Interactive Entertainment Acquired Valve Embracer Group acquired Board Game Tension. Acquired Turtle Rock Studios. Embracer Group acquired Perfect World Entertainment along with its publishing group Cryptic Studios, as well as Dark Horse Media, the parent company of Dark Horse Comics and Dark Horse Entertainment. I mean, who, baby? Who, baby? That's wild. That's 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 so many acquisitions, and I feel like it has to continue throughout 2022. And then I think, why not? Why shouldn't we? We should. You and I, we should all probably try to come up with some dumb game studio names and see if anybody will buy one. Why shouldn't you? I'll start. Huckland Bamble Dyer Games is now for sale. I'm fielding offers. Don't lowball me. Mystery 5. Will Square Enix release a single hit in March? Looking at 2022 in video games. Again, thank you Wikipedia. And also, sorry, I, I never donate. We see that in the month of March, Square Enix will be publishing four brand new games. Babylon's Fall, Triangle Strategy, Chocobo GP, and Stranger in Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. They're not big budget games, but they're big budget games. They're like Netflix original series, right? Where it's like, you can tell, but also that's like, that's still respectable, you know? But will any of these games flourish is the mystery. Is it going to work out for any of these? Because, I mean, they are weird. It's it's weird that Square Enix did these. It's, it's irresponsible publishing, frankly. But at least it's interesting. Thanks for making these. That don't, not, no thanks for making this, but thanks for making these. And to be clear, I, I, I hope them all success. Well, again, not this one. But I hope these games don't lose money for Square Enix. Right? I, I hope it all, I hope March works out for Square Enix. It just seems unlikely. I would love for it to be Chocobo GP. I would love for that to be a smash hit. If Chocobo GP isn't a smash hit, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to need Pokemon Sleep. And finally, Mystery 6. Is Kirby going to keep getting away with it? From what we've seen so far of Kirby's 2022 game, Kirby Stranger in Paradise, it seems like not a single person is pointing their finger at Kirby. Everybody's letting it slide. My theory is just that maybe everyone is like a little scared of Kirby. You don't stop somebody like Kirby unless you are prepared to lose it all. I just hope somebody does something in 2022. If not now, it'll never happen. And thus concludes our smorgasbord of delicious mysteries. How many will you solve? I'll be back next week with more delayed input. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching. All right, everybody, I wanted to give you an update on last week's question to the audience, which is what do you do with your PlayStation 5 box? Um, got a lot of comments about it, more than I wanted. Uh, and the problem is they're pretty split. 
A lot of people say keep the box. A lot of people say toss the box. So I wanted to let you know where I'm at. I'm going to toss the box. I'm going, that is going to, it's going to be a good feeling when I toss the box. When I toss the box. But the problem is, um, I have not tossed the box yet. It is actually, I did put it under my bed, like many comments suggested. But I wanted to let you know I intend to toss the box at some point when I have built up the appropriate amount of courage to do so. I want to get, I do want it, I want it, I want it out of my house. It is just clutter. It's not necessary. You can just blank it up at PS5, but I don't, I don't know. I don't, there's just a thing that, so like in 2022, by the end of 2022, the box will be gone. It's not gone yet, but sure as shit, sh sh sure as, sure as Starfield coming out on November 11th, that box is gone, baby. Thank you for your input.